If you watch a lot of videos about PC setups, you've probably already seen some of those. These are the Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers. They look quite nice and aren't that expensive at around $250. However, considering their size, do they actually sound good? Let's find out. Tracking. These speakers are quite small, featuring 2.75 inch woofers and tiny tweeters. They're about 6 inches in height, 4 inches in width and 5 inches deep. They come in glossy red, glossy white and matte black colors. I've got a hold of the glossy white version and I think they look awesome. They are symmetrical, the black and white contrast looks great and the finish is amazing. They feel solid and have a cabinet made out of MDF. My units sit on the Audio Engine DS2 monitor stands, which are made for these exact speakers. The stands are a bit overpriced at around 35 US dollars, but they fit perfectly. Also, they make sure the speakers face the listener and it improves how they sound. In the box, you get the power supply, a pretty long high quality auxiliary cable, a USB cable, and the speaker wire to connect both speakers together. The speaker and the accessories come in cloth bag, which is quite nice if you want to protect them on the go. The USB cable and the speaker wire are pretty short, so you might have to buy longer ones depending on your setup. The amplifier is located in the left speaker and it can become warm after a few hours of use. The box is so small that it must be hard to dissipate the heat. Also, the speakers shut down automatically if they're not used for a long period. I decided to replace the included speaker wire because it was a bit short for my needs at around 5 feet. I found a really great looking one from Monoprice that cost me about $13. Also, the banana plugs it has look way nicer than the original cable. Each speaker has a 15 watt RMS power output resulting in 30 watt total when combined. There's a built-in DAC in the left speaker which gives the possibility to connect the speakers via USB. This is quite useful if your onboard sound card isn't that good. Otherwise, there is an auxiliary input and regular RCA jacks. Also, there are some RCA outputs to add a subwoofer to the setup. Lastly, there is a knob that acts as a power switch and as a volume controller. I used to have some 5-inch JBL Studio monitors before those. I've also had some 8-inch KRK Studio monitors with the matching 10-inch KRK subwoofer, so I guess I'm quite used to having a lot of bass. These speakers were engineered to deliver as much bass as possible, but there's a limit on how they can deliver due to their size. The bass roll-off appears at around 100Hz, which is not that great for bass-heavy tracks. On my previous monitors, the bass roll-off was more around 80Hz, which gives a bit more low-end. I would say that these speakers sound really clean, the mid-range and the highs are great and detailed, but they're quite weak on the bass. They tried to make up for it by boosting the mid-bass, which can lead to a weird sound signature on some tracks. Some higher bass notes are a bit too amped up, while lower bass notes are almost silent. It can be problematic when a certain bass line in a track plays around that spot. The bass line can be loud at some point, and then becomes barely audible. Here are some sound samples of the speakers. Please take these with a grain of salt as my room is not acoustically treated. Also, the results will depend on what you're actually listening this on. Thank you.
If your main focus is on looks, space saving and audio quality, I think these speakers are a great option. They sound good for their size, they look amazing and they are really space saving. However, if your main focus is on audio quality alone, I think you should go for something else. For $250, you could get a nice 2.1 speaker setup with a small subwoofer or two bigger monitors that would produce more bass resulting in a more balanced sound. For my part, I'm satisfied with my purchase, however, I will probably buy a small subwoofer someday to balance out the sound of these speakers. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed this content please leave a like, don't forget to subscribe to Minimalistic for more tech related videos. See you in the next video!